So this is a quick deer bombshell slash I'm going to rant. So if you don't want to hear me complain, don't watch this video. Um, I'm usually an upbeat person. I'm usually pretty nice to get along with. I will say that my driving is very defensive. Um, anyway, um, back to the topic at hand. I worked today and after work, we knew that we had to go to County Market to get a few groceries and then out to eat. We go to County Market and I don't know where people's manners or heads are at these days, but this is why I'm in the shopping in the store, mind you. This young punk kid aims his cart right for me and if I hadn't swerved right in time, he would have hit my cart. Now, I don't know where your manners are, people. I don't know where your head's at. Obviously not on your shoulders. But when you're in a store, common sense that God gave a goose. There's plenty of room in that store. You don't have to ram another person's cart to get what you want. You simply say, excuse me, or I'm coming. Get some sort of warning. Heck, put a dang bike horn on the t dang cart if you're going to act that nuts in a store. But it was just insanity. Um, they didn't have my turkey wraps. I love those little turkey wraps from Hormel. They're perfect. It's just the right size, right calorie amount. Boom, you're done. But no, they didn't have that. So I ended up getting two turkey sandwiches from the deli. It's all good. Then uh, went through the drive through Now this is where I get teed off at the driving in this town. There's a drive through in this town that has two lanes. And I, at this point, we need to stop and a go because these people don't know how to drive. Or they, they obviously didn't pay attention in driver's ed. I, I mean, I was two seconds away of getting out of my SUV tonight and getting ahead of, you know, half of the line and going, stop, go, stop, go. Because these people were just that rude. Now, anybody that knows God gave a goose. If you have two lanes... You're going to have one main lane, one secondary lane. The main lane goes before the secondary lane. I know, wild concept, but it's true. Now, the Ford that was ahead of me, God help him, God help him. He, he sat there and literally let these other people, he wouldn't edge forward. He was scared to death. I'm like, edge forward, make your presence known. I was practically on his bumper and he was still sitting just like scared little goose and he's a great big freaking truck okay still sitting there I was like shaking my head going I get me out of this SUV I will direct traffic and then you have these wild yahoos that decide to pull into the second lane while I'm over here on the first lane I've placed my order and she has enough gall to cut me off oh I was fuming I mean fuming so by the time I get up there to the window, I'm telling the little, you know, chick that's at the window, and I said, excuse me, but has anybody told you, you guys need stop and go lights out there? Because let's be serious, they're not paying attention. They're all driving like honyaks. You're having to ask me what my order is because you don't know. And she goes, well, that's true. I said, so wh why are you laughing? She goes, because this is an everyday, happens everything, it's nothing new. I said, it may not be, but this is sad. It's beyond sad. These people are pathetic. And I think the people behind me let me go because they could read my lips. Stop. And I literally held my hand out like, get your butt stopped. What in the heck is wrong with you people? Did you not complete driver's ed? Do you think that you're having bumper cars out there? Because you have a wreck. You got to call the insurance. You got to call the police. Just saying. So knock it off. Okay. Now that I got the rant out of my system and I feel much better, um, in other news, uh, GAC, Great American Country, is becoming Great American Family. And it, it's different. I, I still miss the days where CMT was a music channel and where GAC, you tuned in to watch the Opry, you tuned in to watch that kind of programming. But... I know life happens, changes happens, and we got to move with the times. There's times that I don't agree with the movies over there on the Hallmark Channel, and I guess the guy separated from the Hallmark Channel, and he's going to be over here on this country slash Great American Family Channel. I watched the first movie tonight. I did miss the other movie, so I apologize, but I got to see tonight's. It was about the time change. I forget the name because my phone is in the other room. 
but it was a great movie. I cried at the end of it. It was just great. And if all the movies are going to be that great, then I don't think that they'll have a, cha a chance of not having a great channel. And it'll it's just shocking, though, that, you know, they've taken the country out of the channel. It's kind of sad. But, you know, Opryland doesn't exist anymore, so why should anything else? But anyway, um, I'm done ranting and raving for tonight. I don't like to be angry. I really don't. So why don't we go ahead and tune in to a magazine review. I have three now left over here to do. The Dog Magazine, The Rest of the Woman's World, and uh, Reminisce. So I'll pick one of them do a couple of pages with you, maybe the whole book. Who knows? Just sit there, stay tuned. Thank you for listening. And come on, Illinois, get your butts together and learn how to drive. And manners, please. <laughs>